Hey Pandalings, this is the Black Belt Panda, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to build a Greek game room. Hey, I'm not dead, and we're here at the Greek house. Two good things. And uh, we're going to start working on the second floor here. About time, right? Uh, we're going to do this side of the house first. In the next episode, we'll finally start working on the other side of the house. And we're actually getting pretty close to finishing it up. Doesn't look like much now, but I promise when we're done, it'll look pretty nice. So, second story... Ooh, a little bit of lag spike there. Second story is a little bit easier. Uh, because we don't have to worry so much about figuring out the size. We just line it up with the rest. Uh, I.e. just bring it up that tall. And just outline the shape that already exists. And we just want to do this for the whole thing. Making, uh, you know, walls for our room. And uh, ceiling, of course. Uh, so that's pretty boring to watch. Just going to do that off camera real quick. Cut out come back in when I have that done okay and we are back with the walls and the ceiling done and just like I said before just follow the shape and you'll get the same thing we're going to separate the room right here with just a small column for now uh, right next to the stairs here now we're gonna count uh, two blocks in we're gonna put windows here and over here now we're gonna go over to the other side and do the same thing. So two blocks in and then window here and over here. And then we're going to go to the center here. That's where our door is going to be. And of course we're going to surround that in the pillar quartz blocks. So just run the pillars up like that and then across the top. And then two more windows in here. Uh, one block away from the wall. Two blocks and another one here. And it looks off center for now, but we'll be changing that uh, very soon. So, now that we've got our windows opened up, <clears throat> we can go ahead and get rid of these torches. So we can work a little bit easier around the floor. It's a little bit dark over in this spot, isn't it? We're going to open up a window there later. Uh, we're going to finish taking this wall across. Just like that. And we're going to open up a door in there. Right there. So, we'll go ahead and... Put in our pillar quartz blocks. Go across the top. And we'll replace this one as well. Since it's not visible from the other side. We're going to go ahead and bring up this column. All the way up to the ceiling. That just uh, helps look a little bit nicer. Throw some glass panes into the windows. Get those done. Oh, a little bit of a lag spike. I keep getting these random lag spikes. It's probably because I have my internet browser open. Um, I usually don't bother closing programs when I go to record. Usually don't have to, but uh, I don't know. I should probably get in the practice of doing so. All right, let's see. We've got this wall here, and what we're, we're going to do with it is uh, a little bit tricky. But basically, we want a row of stairs all along here. And what we can do uh, to actually conserve the amount of stairs we're using, we're going to start by placing these blocks down here. We're going to jump up and put our stairs just like this, all the way across. Alright. And the reason for that, uh, we'll go over here in a second. We're just going to finish putting blocks all along this wall. Now, you can't tell the stair blocks are there from the inside or the outside. Um, but one neat feature, we're going to bring this wall over here first so we don't lose track of it quite so easily. And look at that. Now it's centered. Told you. Anyway, <clears throat> so one neat feature here, I'll demonstrate very quickly, is that glass panes will not connect in the center to the back of a stair block. And I'll show you what happens when you try to do that with a regular block. Now you see how it connects in the center? That's what we want to avoid. That's why we put those stair blocks there. So go ahead and put in three blocks. So we got three blocks on this side. Now we've got three blocks on this side. 
We're going to go across the bottom. And then we're going to go across the top. Now we're going to go across the top again here. We've got a neat little uh, shelf area. Now what we can do is decorate it a little bit. We can throw up uh, some creeper heads. For example, if we wanted to use creeper heads, um, I'm going to use some Steve heads. So if you couldn't tell by my hotbar, the color theme of this room is going to be brown. And there's more brown in the Steve heads than there are in the other ones. So I'm just going to place them all along the wall here. And on a server with maybe like a decapitation mod or some other mod that lets you uh, cut off a player's head and keep it, um, you could actually put all sorts of different player heads up here. Um, if you're playing in vanilla Minecraft, you can put wither skulls all along up here. Uh, another neat feature of this shelf is the item frames. Uh, you can put item frames all along here and put your most awesome stuff in those item frames. For example, if you had a really cool diamond sword, maybe. Uh, I'm just going to put them all across here. Um, or just something really cool that you came across and wanted to show off. Put that there. And with the new update coming, uh, 1.7, um, which hasn't been released at the time of this video yet, only snapshots, but uh, one of the cool features is the ability to remove items from the item frame by right clicking uh, without dropping the item frame itself. So that's going to come in handy once 1.7 is released. We can also place some glass panes in front and there's the reason for the stair blocks. Now you can see we've got a display case. So we've got some heads up here and a display case with some awesome items down here. Very cool. Uh, so we're going to make a couch. So couches are cool. To do that we're going to use some nether brick slabs. And we're going to surround them in just brown stained clay, which kind of looks like leather. So right there, that's it. That's our basic couch. It is really that simple. Uh, then we can make, let's see, let's use some glowstone. We're going to make a plant on either side. Hide some glowstone. Use oak leaves. Bring it up about three high. That looks pretty good. And let's see, we're going to want a bookshelf. Where are the bookshelves? There's the bookshelves. We can put a bookshelf right here. And we can even put a flower pot on top of it. Kind of looks like a cup of coffee or something. And over here, we're going to make a little interesting design. Uh, what we're actually going to do is put upside down spruce wood stairs and skip two blocks we're going to put some right side up spruce wood stairs and you might be asking well what on earth is that thing well we're going to grab some fences and we're going to put let's see i wonder if we could replace those with stairs let's do that so we're going to put stair blocks here first, just like that. And what that's going to let us do is now place a fence block and you see it won't stick to it. So I think we can get our stairs to curve if we're real careful here. And I'm just going to break these blocks out of the way. And this is going to be pretty cool if we can get this to work. I'm going to place stairs. Let's see. What happens if I do that? Okay. And now that. And then that. Oops. Nope. You jump up here. That. And look at that. We've got a corner. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to place a stair there. There. And there. Now we've got another corner. How cool is that? Now we can fill this in. We can place these stairs back up here and now it doesn't stick at all so there's a cool little trick for you and we're gonna put nether brick oh I put those upside down don't put them upside down it'll look funny okay and we're gonna put nether brick on bottom this time so it doesn't stick to the other fence or doesn't connect would be the proper term and we're gonna put another one there so you might be asking what the heck is that well those are pool sticks this is a gaming room 
we gotta have a pool table. We gotta have a pool table. We gotta have pool sticks. Pretty simple. So, time for the pool table. I'm gonna put that right here. Uh, we're gonna want, if I can place it here, some upside down stairs, a couple slabs, a couple upside down stairs. That doesn't look like much of a pool table, you might be saying, but hang on, there's more. Grab some green carpet. I like the darker green carpet for the pool tables. Just toss that on top. Looks like a pool table. Boom. That easy. Nice. All right. <clears throat> so, we're going to use the court stairs and give the top of this room a little bit more decoration just by going around it all the way across. And that's just going to give a little bit more definition, if I can place it right, uh, to the room. You'll notice sometimes when my mouse double clicks, um, my mouse is starting to die, unfortunately. Uh, so the clicking isn't as accurate as it should be, which is kind of irritating, honestly. But uh, I'm looking into replacing it sometime soon. Uh, looking into getting the Mad Cat's Rat 9. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Yes, it looks amazing. Um, we want a pinball table right there. Cool looking pinball table. That's what we're going to make. We're going to use redstone lamps, stone buttons. We want pictures, pictures, paintings. Here they are. Uh, let's see, do we need anything else? Yes, we do. We want a powered rail and a detector rail. Now, watch this. Two blocks out. Place your powered rail on the back, detector rail on the front. Um, you can do it the other way around if you want to. Uh, didn't I grab a painting? Could have sworn I grabbed a painting. Did I replace my painting? I probably did. Uh, you want a painting. Just a one block painting. Let's, good way to speed that up is just put two blocks there. Okay. Good way to speed that up is put two solid blocks there. There we go. And now we can put a painting here, another one here, one more here, and we've got our flippers, our, our buttons on either side, and when we press the button, you can see it does this cool little light up thing. Uh, actually, yeah, let's reverse these, detector rail in the back, powered rail in the front, and now our powered rail lights up as well. And what's even neater is it does so at a, a, a different time than the redstone blocks, watch closely. It'll turn off. You see that? Turns off first. I just think that looks cool. Anyway, it's a real simple pinball table, nothing fancy. Uh, let's go ahead and make the floor look a little bit nicer here by placing our stairs in such a manner that... Do I like that there? I don't know if I like that there. Oh, see, there's that double click I was talking about. That it highlights just like that, the top of the staircase. Cool. We're going to put a painting here. Right there. We want a 2x2 two two painting if we can get it. There we go. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Alright. Now, let's see. Let me grab some carpet. What color theme was this room? This was green. We're going to grab some green carpet. We need some brown, too color room for the game room or the color scheme for the game room is going to be brown so right here at the landing let's go ahead and mix green and brown make a cool little uh, landing rug landing area rug for up here it's going to be pretty much all brown so you can just start doing that we'll just put the carpet down just cover the whole room here carpet it wherever we can as much as we can not going to be able to carpet everything. Uh, we'll fix that. Well, we won't fix it so much as we'll work around it. Just about got it all here. Alright. Um, so here, for example, looks a little bit better if you break those two off. <clears throat> it's pretty good. I like that. Do we want to raise that painting up one? How's it look coming up the stairs? I think I like it where it's at. Honestly, it looks pretty good. All right, that's coming along nice. Okay, couple uh, extra things we can do. We can surround this pillar 
give it a little bit more detail. Try to get in here real careful. Go ahead and put up a painting here. See if we can get the one by two so it looks nice. There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, if you want, and you might actually prefer to do this, put a block there in the middle and you get a cool little face. Plus it adds a little bit more detail. Uh, let's see here. We need some lighting above the pool table. So we're going to put some netherrack fencing right there. Drop it down two blocks. And for our lamp, we're going to use a beacon. Because beacons make good lamps. One there. And one there. We've got a cool little pool table lamp. You can see the room got a little bit brighter. Put a carpet there. All right. So let's head in here. It's a little bit dark. Uh, let's give it a window. Uh, just like that. That'll work. I need some glass panes here. Throw those in. And one cool way to make a curtain for your windows, if you dig look, some people don't, is to just use vines and just wait for them to grow down. All right, so we want to make another couch. This is going to be our little uh, lounge room, I guess, uh, entertainment area. Let's see with the there we go, nether bricks. Make our leather couch again. Just like that. All right. Uh, we're going to grab a couple stone slabs. Put one there and one there. And let's see. Where would the jukebox? Note blocks. There we go. Note blocks will work. Put a note block up. Oh. Upside down slabs. Thank you very much. A couple note blocks. And we'll even grab a painting. Put one right there. We got like little surround sound speakers. Uh, we're gonna put a couple note blocks in here. Stone slabs in between. We can put a painting up. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Oh, not like that. I think we might have to break those to get it to um, give us a big painting. I'm just gonna break those two. That is a really big painting. Not quite as big as what we want. Or no, I'm sorry. Bigger than what we want. That's what we want. And then we can put our slabs in. Now we've got ourselves a nifty flat screen TV. Looks pretty good. And let's see. Go ahead and grab some more supplies here. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Let's see. We need some nether brick. Nether brick slab. Nether brick block. We need a sign. Oh, we need a glass block as well. See that double clicking? Man, that it, it, it just gets irritating. Okay, so nether brick, glass block, nether brick slab. Then we can put up a sign and we can say popcorn machine just so everybody knows what it is because I mean how cool is it to have your own popcorn machine in your uh, entertainment room right uh, it would be even cooler is if we had a cotton candy machine so let's see if we got some uh, I guess magenta will work magenta uh, we're gonna do a neat little trick here and use a rail and a minecart we want to keep the sign though so we're gonna put some magenta we're going to put another one on top, and we're going to put a rail. Can we make that change direction? Hmm. I think we could. If we did maybe something like this. Okay. And then we're going to put our minecart on top. Break the block. Break the block. And there's that double click. Gotta love it. Uh, I really need to get that new mouse soon. Let's try that again. Well, you get the idea of the trick anyway. You can break the block, and that'll make the minecart fall. We want it to go sideways. Just so it's not sticking out this way quite so much. And then we can just put a sign and say cotton candy. All right, we got our cotton candy machine. Uh, some people call it fairy floss. Uh, I think that might be a British term. 
I'm not entirely sure. Um, so cotton candy and or fairy floss machine. Just write down on the sign whatever you want to call it. Um, underneath here we should have some room for some glowstone. So we're going to grab glowstone. Probably don't need to. You can probably get away with one. And our carpet. Try that again. Our carpet. All right. And just go ahead and carpet the room. And uh, a lot of people have been concerned with my lack of videos lately. And I just want to say that uh, that's just because of some problems I've been having in real life uh, that I'm still currently facing. Um, unfortunately, uh, working them out is going to take a little bit of time. And I'm doing it as fast as I can, just to let you know. Um, one way we could speed up this vine growth is just replacing these blocks. And then, whoops, grab the vine. Place the vine manually, just like that. Grab your glass paints. And you can break the blocks from out here. Should be uh, those three. Place your glass panes inside. Then you can come back in. Put your wall back in. There you go. Instant curtain. Don't have to wait for it to grow. All right. Um, want to put uh, probably want to put some paintings up somewhere, right? Make it look a little bit nicer. Let's see if we can get like a. What can we get over here? Ah, that looks pretty good there. I think. Don't rage at me if it's off center. <laughs> Um, also, some people have been commenting on the coordinates in the upper left-hand side of the screen. OMG, Panda, you're using X-Ray. Haxers, hashtag no swag. Um, guys, <laughs> that actually has uh, a couple very important uses. Number one is I get a lot of people asking me about my coordinates uh, when I'm building, and that gives you real-time coordinates. You can see exactly where I am if you want to use the same seed. Uh, so that's the reason why the coordinates are in the upper left of the screen. Um, but yes, it is part of an x-ray mod uh, that I do use quite often, but not for uh, cheating on servers like a lot of people do. Um, as many of you know, I run a server uh, called PandaCraft. And if you've ever run a server before, uh, you probably know that having x-ray is almost a requirement as a server owner or administrator. Uh, the reason for this is to find players who are actually x-raying um, to, you know, gain resources more so than they should. Um, and also to find players who attempt to hide uh, resources that they've gained illegitimately. Um, so the x-ray is purely a resource, a tool, as a server owner. Um, just so you guys know, uh, before... The X-Ray mod, and the reason I actually am using this new X-Ray mod, uh, I used Notice as a uh, server tool. It was actually extremely useful, uh, particularly its Cave Finder option, uh, which just highlighted caves uh, all through the map. Basically, it was like X-Ray, but you could see the caves of walls. And that was extremely useful for finding other X-Rayers because I could see uh, caves where people were going left and right, winding all over. Uh, because they were heading straight for diamonds. And uh, that, among other tools that were included with that particular Minecraft client, were extremely useful for me. And I don't condone using hacks or cheats of any kind when you are playing on a Minecraft server. Um, it's not right because it takes away resources from the rest of the community. It gives you an unfair advantage. Um, it just it spoils the fun all around for everybody else. Um, but... For me, obviously, I don't play on my own server. Um, even if I wanted to, I really couldn't uh, for a multitude of reasons. I mean, it, it wouldn't be any fun uh, simply because I'd be constantly uh, needing to help other people fix problems. Um, and not to mention, you know, it's, it's a little bit difficult for me to uh, change my settings so that I can play as a regular user. Um, what I mean by that is... There are so many different plugins I have installed on my server that allow me to moderate the server, and I can't really turn those off, but leaving them on makes gameplay too easy, if you know what I mean. So anyway, just thought I would 
uh, give you guys an explanation for that because I have been getting a lot of comments about the coordinates, in the upper left hand screen. Um, so guys, seriously, stop it. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Um, anyway, so this looks pretty good. I am pleased with the result. We've got a gaming room. We've got leather couch here, pool cues, pool sticks, whatever you call them, uh, pool table, cool lighting, some cool displays, nice, uh, brown carpeting, more leather, TV, entertainment room, uh, probably not the best build in the world. I know it's not very Greek in this particular episode, um, but the house is Greek. Keep that in mind. It's a Greek house. Um, and, you know, it, it doesn't have a time theme. It's not ancient. It's not modern. It's just, you know, it's Greek themes. Most of what I build, I get inspiration from on Google Images. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, this one's just, just another room for the house, really. Because, uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of requests for different rooms. Game room was one of them. So I can't think of any really good way to make a game room look more Greek than this. <laughs> so hopefully you guys don't mind that terribly. Um, but a lot of you have been asking what my plans are with the house. I want to address that really quickly. Uh, this side here, um, there's going to be something like it on this side. So if I fly up so you can see the top, you can see the shape we've got here. Uh, this shape is going to be the same over here. And we'll have basically this nifty little square C shape. And in the middle, we're going to have a courtyard. Uh, there's going to be a roof slanting inwards on all sides. Uh, a wall here in front of the courtyard. And there's going to be a balcony wrapping 360 degrees, uh, giving you access to all the rooms on the top floor. And our stairs to get up to the top floor are right here. These will be our main stairs. And then to get to the balcony, you'd walk out here. From here, you could walk over to the bedroom or to whatever room we add over here. So basically, we've got pretty much two rooms left to do. You know, bottom floor here and top floor here. Um, unless we split them into really small rooms, in which case we might have three. Uh, so shoot me some suggestions for those rooms. Uh, could definitely use them. Um, some, a lot of people have been saying courtyard. That, that's going to be here, so don't worry. We've, we've got a courtyard or garden or whatever. Um... Uh, so that'll be there. Uh, so yeah, definitely let me know what you think should be in these rooms. Uh, if there should be two rooms, or if there should be a room up here and two smaller rooms down here, and what you think they should be. Uh, keep in mind, this one goes to the bathroom. Um, so probably a room that one wouldn't terribly mind being next to a bathroom would be a good idea. But it is Minecraft, so I mean, we can just work with whatever. We've got a lot of flexibility when it comes to building since we don't have to worry about realism quite so much. And, uh, you know, this video is dragging on a little bit, but I just wanted to update you guys on some of that stuff. So, once again, I'm going to take a look here. This is the Greek game room. I hope you guys like it. If you do, click the like button. If you've got any questions, comments, suggestions, concerns, etc., etc., post them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do so. Um, uh, you guys know that I end up taking breaks a lot. Um, because, you know, I'm 23, uh, you know, still got a lot of stuff that I got to take care of. I haven't been able to settle down and, and really get a stable life going yet. Uh, so those breaks are going to happen. Um, subscribing is the best way to see these videos when they come out. A lot of you are saying, you know, you, Panda, you take too long. You take too long to put out videos. I'm going to unsubscribe. If you unsubscribe, you're not going to see the videos when I do put them out. And rest assured, there will always be another video. It might take a month. It might even take two months if something really hectic is going on in my life. Um, but there will always be another one. And if you're subscribed, you'll see it when it comes out. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. This is the Black Belt Panda, and I will see you in the next video.